Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this video is titled "How to Roll a Joint." Um, I usually I I would recommend staying away from roulettes or any of the really cheap ones because you really don't want those. You want the slow burning ones. I prefer jokers or zigzags. These are zigzags. They're pretty good, actually. But anyhow. For legality purposes, I shall be using tobacco. Um, some people like to mix it, mainly Europeans. Europeans, like I, I read in a magazine, 52% tobacco, or no, 52% marijuana and 48% tobacco. I don't really know why you'd mix it, but Europeans think it's cool. So, go Europeans, good for them. America, we have more common sense than that. Anyway, so like I said, I'm using tobacco. The Captain Black Cherry. Uh, it's actually like a pipe tobacco. Um, Cavish blend with a rich cherry flavor, exceptionally mild, delightfully aromatic. Anyhow, so there's already going to be a crease right down the middle. Some people like to crease it a second time. I'm not one of those, but you know that's very common. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Another common trick: a lot of people like to use dollar bills around the edge of the paper because it rolls it tighter. I don't, but you know a lot of people do, and you know more power to them. But anyway, so you take the paper, and if you folded your second crease, you would have folded it right here, halfway between this halfway mark and the edge of your paper, the paper without the glue, the glue is going to be right here, see the glue, and if you were to fold it, you'd fold it right there, but I don't fold it, I just go like this, and you want to like make sure it's even when you're putting your marijuana in, um, like I said, I'm using tobacco, but I usually use marijuana to roll joints, if I'm not mistaken, anyway, um, so you just kind of space it out a little bit. You kind of want to not, you don't really want to do too much on the ends, um, especially not where your filter is going to be. And I mean, like, I just like to let the paper burn to get it started. So you kind of leave a little, like, indentation to each side. And you just kind of get a good, kind of, I'd say, a generous amount. Um, I tend to use a little less than most people would because I like to conserve. Um, but hey, you know. Different strokes for different folks, right? Um, this is about what I would normally use. Like that. But most time, my friends use more. I don't usually do it though. And you just kind of like, with your thumbs, you're going to put your fingers on the edge and your thumbs on the top of this paper right here. And you're going to go up and down, starting on the outward. I start on the two ends, and I work my way to the middle. And you're just kind of like pu pushing it down, if that makes sense at all. To get up. Pushing it down, using the papers, going up and down, up and down, up and down. And you'll actually start to feel it compress and tighten up. Um, if it's your first time doing it, don't worry, it's going to suck. But you get better. You just you you will start to feel on your first time, start to tighten up, and you know you just kind of want it to like tighten up. Make sure it's real even. The middle you I usually come in last, and then right when you feel like it's tight enough, I mean, kind of use your own judgment there. But about here, you just kind of like crease it over. And the biggest thing with rolling a joint is making sure there's no air. You want to make sure it's real tight, and you roll up very very tight all the way up to the top lick the glue and you just kinda roll it over and you just fix the ends you know like I said I can serve usually your joints gonna be a little thicker than this but that's what my joints usually look like I just kinda get them nice and you know that's not cool. And then, there you go, you got a good joint, ready to smoke. Clean them out.
That's how you roll the joint.